Wait a minute. Uh, Wait a minute. What? Oh. I'm oh. confused. Mr. President, oh, it's double out. jeopardy. Let's go. Why do we have two? What? Only one of them can capture. No, only one of them can capture. It's a glitch. There can only be one. Put them in the real one. The other is just a cousin. Are you someone that's into SMGs that spend ammo within seconds? Maybe you're a fan of the fan favorite ambush game mode that was only featured in Insurgency 2014, but was constantly asked for by hardcore fans to be added into the next game, but just didn't happen. Well, if you're someone that's a fan of those types of weapons, or someone who really wanted that game mode to be added back into this Insurgency, then this just might be the update for you. What's up everybody, d right back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Insurgency Sandstorm, because it's just right around the corner, and I was able to play their CTE update that featured the two new guns, new map, and game mode. So I thought that I would talk about it, you know, gauge your thoughts and give my thoughts and let you know what was going on, whether it was good or not. But uh, before we get into that, be sure to like up the video, subscribe if you're new, and ding that bell so that you can get more of my updates on Insurgency Sandstorm and other games just like it. All right, let's get into it. The first thing that I want to talk about is their brand new map, which is called Gap. Now, I'm not entirely sure what's so gappy about Gap because it just honestly feels like a very close quarters map. But to be honest, it doesn't feel like a map that's all that special like the surrounding area just feels like another standard sandstorm map with alleyways that are tight with like three hallways and slums surrounding the hallways exposed rooftops and yeah it's just your standard insurgency sandstorm map all around but the one unique attraction about this map felt very underutilized in the newer game mode like they talk about this luxurious hotel that you're going to be experiencing and throughout playing the new game mode i just never even saw it i honestly forgot that this was actually the map that was supposed to be featuring this hotel. Like, it honestly became a piece in the background of the map. So it seems like when you're playing the new game mode, it's not even gonna be there. Which is just a shame, because I think that's the best thing about the map, is the freaking hotel. I think it's just gorgeous looking. They honestly put a lot of effort into this place to make it look good, and it's hardly used in the new game mode. Or at least I hardly saw it. In order for you to actually experience it, you would have to play a different game mode. And even then, you might only be able to see it for just a couple of seconds, unless it's like a domination game mode but uh, yeah overall it's just an okay map i'm glad that it's not a rehashed one from insurgency 2014 not saying that i hate those maps but i would prefer to see something new rather than something rehashed again i don't think this new map is like that good i think it's just okay but you know it's something new er, so yeah so that's good news but i kind of wish that you know the map was more centered around the hotel than the freaking slums because the slums are just ugly looking i would say but yeah that's all i really got to say about the map let's go ahead and push on to something else here so i keep talking about this new game mode like it's an actual new game mode but that's actually incorrect because it's a game mode that was featured in insurgency's previous iteration insurgency 2014 and had actually become a fan favorite so i honestly found it puzzling to me why these developers did not include it in the beginning to begin with like i remember uh when it was about to launch there was a bunch of people who actually wanted to boycott the game because they didn't have this one mode there was even a petition that said somewhere along the lines of we will not buy this game unless it gets ambush so i'm not entirely sure why nwi decided to alienate a giant chunk of their base right there but they did it so and instead of adding that one mode they were adding in like call of duty modes like team deathmatch and domination which made me think oh well maybe they're just trying to get into that casual market like i don't know at least that's kind of what it felt like but yeah so the game mode itself is just basically appears to be only for multiplayer you have a vip who starts out with just a pistol and i think it's a pistol of your choosing but but he could obviously run around the map and pick up guns and other supplies like grenade and ammo and stuff like that. The point is to try to get him escorted from one side of the map to the other. So you have to make sure that he stays alive. It doesn't matter if regular teammates die, so long as he stays alive and gets to the other side. Think of it as like this VIP is trying to pay your paycheck, you know what I mean? If he dies, you ain't getting no paycheck. There are two objectives and you have to get him to either one of those. The defending team has to either kill the VIP or kill the entire team. It's a fairly simple game mode. In my personal opinion i thought it was just okay i really only killed maybe like one or two people during each match and died a bunch in the others these matches go by freaking quick i wouldn't say that it's my favorite game mode but it is definitely a fan favorite and i'm happy for the people that wanted it back in the game but it is something that can be fun especially if you play as the vip which i believe is randomly selected like i don't think there's a way to actually be it at least i don't think i've ever actually played as a vip but i imagine it's fun and thrilling the thrill of the hunt and yeah that's pretty much the new game mode which is called ambush 
Rush. I believe I forgot to mention that, but it's definitely a fun little game mode, and it's great that it's being added to this next update here. It's only going to be added to a couple of maps, though. Not every map, but I'm assuming they're going to expand it to more maps in the future. So yeah, that's all I really got to say about that. Let's go ahead and talk about the next couple of things here. So the next and final thing that we're going to be talking about is the new SMGs that are going to be added into the game. These weapons are going to be exclusive to the advisor class, so good luck ever trying to get them in the freaking new mode, because it's almost impossible when everybody's trying to go advisor. It's always advisor that gets the best shit, like why is that? Well anyways, it seems as if the vector is going to be exclusive to the security at 6 supply points, while the P90 is going to be only with the insurgents at 5 supply points. These guns are relatively expensive, so being able to use their custom optics and stuff might be a bit pricey. Which yeah, they are going to have custom optics and also custom attachments, which I actually got to experience a little bit in the shooting range. And yeah, they're pretty interesting looking, gotta say. I would say that the Vectors is probably a lot better than the P90s, because I feel like the P90s kind of covers up too much of my screen. But uh, yeah, both weapons feel pretty good. I mean, to be honest, like they're SMGs that basically have no recoil and go through ammo like crazy. Honestly, I feel like the Vector is going to be like a meta weapon, so I'm probably going to hate it. Well, I mean, technically that can't happen because not everybody's going to be able to get to that freaking advisor role. But I mean, if it was on everybody's freaking roles, then I'm pretty sure the Vector would be that meta weapon. I mean, the P90 is nice, but you know, it's the Vector that everybody likes, as far as I can tell. But yeah, these new weapons that are getting added into the game, they are really nice, and I actually quite like them a lot more than I like the previous ones that they added. And you know what? Let's talk about that for a second here. So, just how good is this update compared to the previous one? Well, to be honest, it's just your standard update. One map, two guns, and a, maybe a game mode, a couple of attachments here. Except the difference here is that this one is slightly better because it's actually adding guns that we're most likely going to use compared to the previous ones, where they gave us two pistols, which is the Magnum and the Deagle. So wait, nothing new for multiplayer? All right, turn on, turn. <laughs> I mean, they've got two new pistols. pistols. You get two pistols and a new map. Two guns that were hardly used. I mean, I tried them out, but I wasn't that good with them, so I just went back to the rifle. And they're adding in a fan favorite game mode that should have been here on launch, but, I mean, it's finally here. I would say too late, but obviously a lot of people are happy about that because I've noticed that the player numbers have actually doubled when this game mode was announced. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, the only good thing about the previous one is that I feel like the map was better. This newer map is just okay. But I think, like, the worst thing about this is that this is, like, four months later that we finally get another update and the update is just i mean i wouldn't call it lackluster because it's actually better than the previous one but it's just your standard update you know a map two guns and a mode a couple of attachments it's not really a banger update you know it's a better update but it's not something amazing again with the new console thing coming out i'm hoping that they actually you know draw better banger updates you know but i guess we'll see so uh i think that's where i'm gonna end the video what are your guys' thoughts is this new update like a banger for you like i know it's definitely gonna please a lot of people because they're bringing in that ambush game mode but is this the update that actually brings you back to Insurgency Sandstorm? Let me know down below, because I'm going to get the hell up out of here. If you're someone that enjoys the fact that I cover games like Insurgency Sandstorm, then be sure to like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon, or click on the join button down below. All donations help. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more of my content and anything that I post. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.